When solving inequalities with modulus graphs, it's very important that you draw a sketch to identify the correct region. So if I start off with mod of 2x minus 7 is less than 1, what I want to do is I want to sketch the modulus of 2x minus 7. I want to know what it looks like. So 2x minus 7. 2x minus 7 will be straight line going through minus 7 uh, on the y-axis, so the line will be coming down like that, and then it would bounce up uh, to hit uh, 7. And this point here would be uh, 7 halves in order to make that modulus 0. Now the line y equals 1 is this line here. So I'm being asked, where is the modulus graph below y equals 1? Well, it's below it between those two values. OK, so I could, I could think of this as doing, well, OK, so um, I could think of the gradient of the graph and think of it that way to identify those points. Let's instead cause myself less problems of dealing with it geometrically and think of it just as solving an equation. I want to know where the modulus of 2x minus 7 meets the line equal 1. So either the 2x minus 7 was equal to 1 or it was equal to minus 1. In which case, in this case, we've got adding 7, I get 8, so x would have had to have been 4. Adding 7 in this case, I would get 6, so x would have to have been 3. So this point is 3, that point is 4, and so the solution to this inequality is that x would have to have been between 3 and 4, okay? And that solves it. So the sketch really helps me identify the region that I am considering. So let's have a look at this second one. Uh, 3x plus 2 modded is greater than 2x minus 5 modded. OK, so in this one, I really want to draw and superimpose both graphs. OK, so we've got mod of 3x plus 2. So mod of 3x plus 2 would look something like this. So there's 2, and this point is at minus 2 thirds. Now, 2x minus 5 modded, um, because the gradient, in the number in front of the x, the coefficient, is less than that one, this means this one will be shallower, OK? It won't be as steep. So 2x minus 5 would be going through 5 on the y-axis and be coming through at a lesser degree. So my graph's not going to be perfect. So it sort of looks something like that going through 5 on the y-axis and going through uh, 5 halves on the x-axis. So what I'm being asked is, where is this graph above this one? So it's above it there and there. So when the x value is to the left of that point and to the right of that one. So that just keeps going. So I need to know where this graph is intersecting that one. So this is a little bit more, you've got to be a little bit more careful here, OK? Thinking about which graph is intersecting which. Now. This part of that graph, the 2x minus 5, would have, going through 5 on the y-axis, has negative gradient, and so that is the graph of minus 2x plus 5, or 5 minus 2x. OK, that's that piece. This piece is 2x minus 5. That's 5 minus 2x. So I want to know where that is intersecting this bit, OK, so that's the line 3x plus 2, positive gradient going through 2. 
And I also want to know whether 5 minus 2x is intersecting this line, which is minus 3x minus 2, or minus 2 minus 3x, whichever one you prefer. Notice how I'm changing the sign of each of the terms inside the modulus graph. So now I just need to solve both of these equations. So adding 2x to both sides gets me 5x and is equal to 3. And so x must be 3 fifths. So this must be that value there, so that's 3 fifths. And then doing the same down here, if I add 3x to both sides, I get x. Subtract 5 from both sides, I get minus 7. And so that must be minus 7. So the uh, solution to my inequality is that x would have to have been less than minus 7, that region, and greater than 3 fifths. So two regions, two inequalities. OK? And that's how I can solve them. So let's uh, move on to the last one. So this last one. 7 minus 3x is less than or equal to x plus 5. Right, so I want to superimpose both of these graphs onto the same sketch once again. 7 minus 3x. So 7 minus 3x is a graph that's coming down like so, and it will bounce off the x-axis like that, go through 7, and this point will be 7 thirds. OK, so that's the modulus of 7 minus 3x. Now, x plus 5 is a straight line going through 5 on the y-axis. It's got a gradient of 1, whereas this part of the graph has a gradient of 3. So it would be shallower than that. And it needs to cross through 5. So it's a straight line going through like so. Right, so uh, that would be minus 5. So where is the, the modulus graph below or equal to x plus 5? So it's below it there. OK, so I need to work out those two values. And the region that I want is between them. So this line, the x plus 5, I want to know where that is intersecting. Well, firstly, this part, which is not 7 minus 3x, that one is 3x minus 7, OK? Because it would be crossing the minus 7 down there. So that's 3x minus 7. And this part is the 7 minus 3x. So if I solve both of those, I'm going to get 2x is equal to 12. So x is equal to 6. So that's given me that value there. And adding the 3x to both sides, subtracting 5 from both sides. And so x would have to have been a half. So that's a half there. And so this inequality is solved by a half is less than x, is less than or equal to x, sorry, is less than or equal to 6. OK? And that's how you can deal with inequalities with modulus graphs.